Sempronius Densus went down in Roman history as one of the bravest and most loyal soldiers, all because he single-handedly protected the emperor against the Praetorian Guard, and it is about him that we will talk in today's video. The only information about this centurion comes from Tacitus, Plutarch, and Cassius Dio. According to what they wrote, Sempronius was a centurion of the Praetorian Guard in the first century, and worked as a bodyguard for the Emperor Galba. In 69 AD, Galba was old and needed to choose someone to succeed him on the throne. Otho, who had supported him as emperor when Nero died, hoped that Galba would return the favor. But that did not happen. In early 69, on January 10th, Galba named the young Piso Licinianus as heir to the throne. From that moment on, the choleric Otho decided to usurp the throne and kill Galba and Piso. He put the plan into action by bribing the Praetorian Guard soon after Piso's appointment. On January 15th, just five days after Piso was chosen by Galba, Otho used the support and protection of the Praetorian Guard to proclaim himself emperor. The Praetorians, who were supposed to protect Galba, now wanted to kill him and his successor. On this day, Galba and Piso were being carried through the streets when a large group of Praetorians appeared to assassinate them. Sempronius, who always protected the emperor, made a difficult decision. He noticed that all the soldiers around him decided to support the conspirators, but Sempronius remained loyal to Galba and Piso. He was pressured to change sides, but said no before the conspiracy. And at the same time, he tried to convince the Praetorians to forego the assassination, but to no avail. Plutarch wrote this about Sempronius' attitude. No man resisted or offered to defend Galba except Sempronius Densus, the only one among thousands of men whom the son on that day saw act worthily in the Roman Empire. Though he had never received any favor from Galba, he defended the progeny through bravery and loyalty. As Piso fled, Sempronius, with no way out, began to fight his former colleagues alone. Plutarch narrated the details of the episode. First, raising his vine staff, with which centurions punish soldiers, he called out loudly to the aggressors, ordering them not to touch the emperor. And when they charged him point blank, he drew his sword and defended himself for a long time, until finally he fell butchered on his knees and tumbled to the ground. Sempronius, fighting only with his dagger, could not hold out for long. When he fell to the ground, the Praetorians brutally killed Galba and then Piso, who had hidden himself in a temple. Otho became emperor and ruled Rome for only three months. In April AD 69, Vitellius became emperor, ordering the execution of all the participants in the murder of Galba, Piso, and Sempronius. Sempronius' heroic act left a legacy of courage and loyalty for the Romans. For this reason, the Roman historian Cassius Dio describes him as most worthy of mention. If you enjoyed learning about the story of this brave Roman centurion, please like this video and subscribe to the channel.